Hello everyone. Today we're going to cook with eggplant. I've been getting some requests by people asking me what they can do with eggplant besides make eggplant parm. <laughs> so we're going to experiment today by making eggplant croquettes. Now usually croquettes are fried or deep fried. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bake them to make them a little healthier. So we're going to add some things and make them tasty. So let's see what we can get up to in the kitchen. Come on. Here are our ingredients. We have two small eggplants, which we're going to roast in the oven. We have two cloves of garlic, an egg, a tablespoon of dried oregano, a teaspoon of dried basil, and we have some Parmesan cheese and some seasoned breadcrumbs. I'm not sure how much of the cheese and breadcrumbs we're going to use. It's used to balance out the texture of the dish. So we'll see how it goes. We've cut the eggplant into manageable cubes and we've tossed them with some extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of salt, and we're gonna now roast these in the oven at 385 degrees until they're soft, probably 15 to 20 minutes. They've been in the oven for 20 minutes. We're flipping them over because they're not as soft as we would like them to get yet. They do cook again after we put them in the food processor and mix them all together. So we're just softening them up here. So we're gonna put them back in for another 10 minutes. Here's the eggplant out of the oven. We're gonna put it in the food processor with everything else and mix it up. Let's go. First step is we have the eggplant in the food processor. We're gonna pulse it a few times to mix it up and we're gonna let it cool because we don't want the egg to cook. Our eggplant has cooled. Now we're going to add the seasoning, the egg, the cheese, and then breadcrumbs as needed. Now the seasoning is one tablespoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of dried basil, and a half a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. We have one egg to use as a binder. We have roughly a third a cup of ground Parmesan cheese. And then we'll do the breadcrumbs as needed to make it all bind together. So this is it without the breadcrumbs. As you can see, it's looking kind of wet. So we're gonna add half of the breadcrumbs that we have here, just a little at a time, and then keep doing that until it gets the consistency that we want. So this is the consistency we have now. It's pretty thick. We're going to put this in the refrigerator for an hour so that it gets easier to work with. After being in the refrigerator for an hour, this has solidified somewhat. So what I'm doing is taking big spoonfuls plopping it into our breadcrumb mixture, rolling it around till we can form a little croquette. And then putting it on some parchment, which we have generously coated with olive oil. Shaping them a little bit. any size and shape that you want. I have a little football shaped one here. Some of them look like small patties. They're just supposed to be croquettes. They're not supposed to be like hamburger patties. So have fun with it. So these have been in the oven for 20 minutes at 375 and we're now flipping them over. Well, they're looking nice and toasty. We're gonna put them in now for another 10 minutes. So much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Please share the video with your friends, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget on Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, I'm hosting my live show live from the Dolce Vita Cafe where we can chat, you can ask me questions, we can just have a nice little conversation. I hope to see you there. Bye!